I look back and I think about how far I've come and to be in this position now, it's, it's, it's crazy to think about that I have this opportunity. Um, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they've always been in that spotlight. I've never had, I never had the spotlight. So I've always had to work and then having my dad as a coach and uh, perfecting my game each and every day, it just helped me expand it and uh, gain a, a better knowledge for the game. And uh, I think that's where I stand out at. Do you think just being here validates your decision to leave? Being at the combine? Right. This game this invite? No, 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 it doesn't. This doesn't. I, I feel like this obviously is just, it's, it's a little pillar, but I don't really take this uh, combine as, you know, a step forward. Like, it's a lot of people that got invited to the combine last year and, you know, they didn't, you know, get the opportunity. Uh, this year that probably should have got invited. So I take it and I, and I use it to my, my advantage just to learn and understand, you know, what's going on in the process. I think that helps me. I like learning and uh, gaining more knowledge of what's going on. And, uh, I think it's a big deal for me to be here, though. Uh, a lot of people get to see me and just see what type of person I am, and uh, that's going to help people understand me and know me better. Uh, uh, you know Christian Wood at all? Um, you've talked and maintained a relationship with him. You know, <laughs> about um, kind of what he went through last year. Uh, yeah, I talked to Christian Wood a lot um, my freshman year. Uh, we were close, and we still are. I talked to him like every other day, uh, him and Rashad, and um, just his process and what he went through, you know, being a possible first round pick and then not being drafted at all. Uh, it was tough for him, and I think that helped him understand that it's a business now and he has to take everything serious. And uh, I think it helped him. I think he's going to grow and, and learn from that. And uh, it was just tough watching the draft, and he didn't get drafted at all. I was sitting at home. I was like, "Wow, he didn't get drafted." I, I couldn't even, you know, give him a call. I didn't even want to text him because that's something that you just you got to think about. It's tough. So, but uh, we're still we're still cool. He's still I still talk to him almost every day. You've probably seen your draft stock rise as much as anyone in the past couple of months. Yeah. You get a sense of how high you can possibly go. Honestly, uh, all this stuff is kind of you know it's new to me. Uh, this has always been a dream. And to even, you know, hear my name mentioned about being a possible NBA pick one through 60, you know, it's crazy to, 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 to know that all that hard work that I put in is possibly going to pay off. And I just want to continue to get better and grow. But to see, you know, and hear, you know, my friends or my family members, you know, showing me like I'm on a board and I'm a first round pick. I, I honestly, I don't take that. And uh, I look at it and I, and, I, and I smile, but I really don't, I don't harp on it. You know, it's, it's all right. But. I'm still working until the actual draft day. Do you know like, how many teams you've met with so far? Uh, I've interviewed with uh, Boston, Toronto, uh, Milwaukee, who was it? Uh, Charlotte, uh, Cleveland, Miami. Couple more teams. You had Detroit. I haven't had. I haven't had Detroit yet.